Uh, I am Mike Reddington. I'm a certified forensic interviewer and a charter member of the International Association of Interviewers. The company I work for with Landers Olasky and Associates is based out of Downers Grove, Illinois. Uh, the very core of what we do are train and provide consulting services for non-confrontational interview and interrogation techniques. Uh, collaborative, report-based, uh, help convince folks that they're caught, allow them to feel a little bit better about what the, they've done without ever telling them that it's legal, it's okay, it was the right thing to do, but provide them with reasons or excuses to psychologically minimize the seriousness of whatever it is that they've done. So I went back to school, got a business degree, and ended up juggling a lot of part-time jobs, man. Now I've built elevators, I've loaded freight on airplanes, and I just got a job catching shoplifters part-time. And I had no idea that there was even a team of people specifically assigned to do that. But a friend of mine got me in the business and the next thing I know I was just being promoted to in investigating internal dishonesty. And it turns out that some of the most active investigators and interviewers are actually in a loss prevention function in the retail world because there are just so many employees and the temptation and opportunity to steal is so great. How do we make ourselves the most effective communicators as possible? The way we make ourselves the most effective communicators as possible is educating ourselves into how do we accurately interpret what people are telling us. And if we could not only accurately interpret what people are telling us, but correctly associate the emotions and motivations that are behind the message that they're giving to us, then we can communicate most effectively with them. If we take a look at him, if you see his hands on his hips, posturing himself straight up in that chair, almost in that ready stance, you an athlete, yeah. almost in that ready position, um, very, very bolt upright in the chair. See how tightly pressed his lips are, staring straight into that camera. Kind of like an okay, here we go. <laughs> if they can take away the opportunity to be better communicators, and to be better communicators by really, really paying attention to the, the word choice, the tone of voice, the physical behavior, and beginning to evaluate that whole message that they're seeing. Because if they can start feeling more confident in their ability to understand where someone's really coming from, that's going to help them personally and professionally throughout their life and hopefully help prepare them as well so when they go to interview for jobs and become a, or reach the management level and become executives, that they can use that to their advantage to build the right team and be, be more successful. What do you see him now doing with his mouth? That's new. A lot of licking the lips, a lot of wetting the lips. You have a lot of downward eye movements now before he starts talking as well. And when people look down, that's typically indicative of accessing their emotions and having an internal conversation with themselves. Now, when he said the back right tire, did you hear the specific words that he said? He said the back right tire, I feel like. If your tire went flat, you don't feel like the back right tire went flat. What he's actually saying there is, I feel like I told you the back right tire went flat. But when you look at the component of communication and how critical those communication skills are to being successful in the business world, I mean, if we can fire up an interest in that, then, then I think we've done a good job.